This amazing tutorial is brought to you by Bronzerellas and I'm featuring two different lipsticks in this tutorial. Please hit subscribe and love the video. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, so we're doing a Rihanna inspired look. I got my friend to do a cornrow for me. Prime my face with my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I'm going to conceal my face with my Maybelline Age Rewind. So I have a small forehead and I just basically cut it off my forehead. If you had a bigger forehead, you would be doing that. You would just be kind of brightening the center of your forehead and adding more darker shades outside. So me and my friend are just getting ready to go to a nice place. Um, it's a shisha bar. Okay, so I've added concealer to my forehead, the center of my nose, my upper lip, my chin area, the sides here. Just add kind of like a darker concealer. Uh, this one's by Stila. I use it for contouring. I use it for contouring because it is a really bad concealer, so don't buy it. On the other hand, the pigment is awesome enough that I can use it for contouring. Woohoo! What I basically do is dab, and I dab in the direction of my natural hair on my face because you want the hair to like just the makeup to just sit on the hair nicely instead of the other way around. And I also make sure I reach out into the neck. So you'll notice that my contour lines for my cheekbones extend from the middle of my ear towards my lips. And I'm going to put the setting powder onto my under eyes so that I don't get crease lines and all that jazz. Um, I use Makeup Forever HD powder and a dry blender. Your blending powder that you're applying onto your face is not applied with a wet blender, obviously. Put ample amounts under my eye. Also, what this helps me with is when I make my eyeshadow, you know how you get those fallouts? It, this enables it, it en enables me to pick up the fallout easily. So we will let the powder sit and let's do our eyes. Uh, my primer is from Urban Decay. It's called Primer Potion. I want my eyeshadow to have more of a pop, so I'm just adding my concealer onto my eyelids on top of the primer that I applied. Take a uh, black eye pencil and in no particular fashion, I'm just going to apply it close to my eyeliner area. I'm going to go ahead and blend it. Um, and I'm doing this just to give my eyes kind of like a very dark face. Hold your brush kind of from the back to make sure you have don't have too much pressure going on onto the eye and blend. Up. So make sure you also use a nice creamy um, sort of um, eyeliner pencil so it's easy to blend it. Now with the same eye pencil, I'm going to go towards the crease and I'm going to make a line. A good substitute for this Too Faced brush could be a BH or a Sephora crease brush. Alright, and then I'm going to take this really nice metallic color that I have from Buxom. It's uh, kind of like a cream shadow. I'm going to just use my finger, pick that color up, and put it on the lip. Oh, and with these, you just have to be careful. You have to blend, blend, blend with your finger itself. So This cream shadow has been discontinued. Use Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in Silver. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to pick up a shader brush. I have one from uh, Sephora. And I'm going to take this really nice dark green, uh, gray black. It's called Label Whore and it's from Too Faced. What the fuck, right? Label Whore. Are they selling these things to kids? Do you see how the black liner helped? It just gives 
all my colors more depth. I'm going to pick up a blending brush and I'm going to use a transfer shade um, that's going to help me um, blend out everything. And I'm just using a light brownish color from the Kylie by Belle palette. And I'm going to start blending. I'm also using a gold shade near my brow bone. It's time to add a pop of color to the inner corners of the eye. I'm going to use this brush. It has kind of like a nice thin end here. I'm going to add some gold. I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and put it on the outer corners of my eye. And I'm also going to pronounce the uh, shading over here in the crease. So I'm taking this brush from Lo Royal and Lang Nickel and I'm just... See, it was so easy to remove that um, fallout because <laughs> I had my baking going on so it was really easy to remove the eyeshadow. It's like it was never there. I'm going to take an angled brush and Anastasia had dip brow. Um, in ebony I'm going to flick this out along the lower lash line okay and you can just join the so I'm doing a very bold eyeliner. Just Just cause this eye makeup calls for a bold eyeliner. I'm gonna do my lower lash line with a color number 87 from Inglot. Um, I'm going to use Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette and I'm also testing the brush with this color. natural pink color that you want it looks to look big overdraw the cupid's bow only the cupid's bow and then draw on the natural line um i have this new lipstick that i bought from mac it's called the roman but it's a beautiful oh, purple color i am going to put a nice navy blue color that i bought from LA girl. Um, it's a nice navy blue color. Okay. <laughs> I know. So this is the look. And this is how it looks with heroin. This is a nice Rihanna inspired lipstick that I have here. What do you guys think? 
I think it looks nice. Bronzarella wants to thank you for watching. We did two lipsticks for this Rihanna inspired look Max Heroine and LA Girls Blue Valentine. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Here's also some photographs of my look that night. We went to a shisha bar and just had a crazy blast. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Heroin, 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 heroin. I don't know what to know. What are you putting? If you slather nice, 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 make sure that your baking powder, the sorry, baking, <laughs> your blending powder that you're, oh, so I had the baking powder on. My friend says she's excited for the dot, 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 dot. We're going out tonight, so she's basically excited about me, guys. And she's standing right here looking at me do my makeup Forever. and take Forever. <laughs> Um, obviously I'm not going to tell you. I don't know what color this is.